What's up, guys? It's time to open the Twitter mailbag to answer some questions about Invicta FC5. These questions come from Mike Radich. Um, I don't know, he's some kind of like MMA reporter guy, some radio person. Anyways, question number one. Outside of Chris Cyborg, who has the most pressure going into Invicta FC5? Here's my response. Um, I'm going to have to go with Jasminka Sive and Kathina Catron. Um, Jasminka is undefeated, but she's only pretty much gone up against opponents um, on the Austrian regional circuit thing. Um, Austria is kind of behind the rest of the world when it comes to women's MMA. So a win over Beck Hyatt would pretty much prove that her undefeated record is actually legitimate. And um, I think that's a lot of pressure because she's not just fighting for herself, she's fighting to legitimize, she's, fight, she's fighting to legitimize Austrian women's mixed martial arts. Um, as for Athena, uh, she's coming off a loss to Jordan Gaza, so a lot of people in the MMA community thought maybe Jordan Gaza should have been given the shot on the Invicta card instead of um, Kathina since she lost. But a, ro uh, a win over Rose, Rose Namajunas, would pretty much quiet all of the critics. So uh, I think that's a lot of pressure. Um, question number two. What's the biggest question mark surrounding Cyborg going into this fight? My answer to that is obviously how well she can perform, you know, without performance-enhancing drugs in her system. Also, there's, you know, the ring rust factor. She hasn't fought in over a year. So I don't think anyone really knows the answer. Um, what I do know is she just posted pictures of herself on Facebook. She looks really, you know, shredded. She looks really ripped. Um, she looks ready to go. So I think she's she's going to get back to her old form. She's going she's gonna to earn the win. Okay, question number three. What fight am I looking most forward to on the undercard? Uh, I was really looking forward to the fight between Veronica Rothenhausler, however you pronounce it, and uh, Molly Estes. But uh, Veronica went down with an injury, unfortunately. She's one of my favorite fighters. I like how she just like goes for the knockout. Um, I like her style. But unfortunately, she's off the card. So I'm looking forward to... Um, Jess Sam Duke against Miriam Nakamoto. Uh, Duke is undefeated, and um, she's undefeated in her pro career, and she also happens to be in the same division as Ronda Rousey, so I think that it really works for her. Like, she might be a couple wins away from a spot in the UFC, and um, Nakamoto is, she's a, a Muay Thai champion. She's, like, one of the best strikers in the world, so if Duke beats her, that really shows something. Um, so, yeah, should be a good fight. Um, number f Question number four. What do I think of the card as a whole? Um, I think it's definitely definitely the best Invicta card yet. Um, picking up Zoila, Gurgel, that was, that was huge. And then getting Cyborg onto the bill, that really just completely put the card up over the top. Um... I love that they have Sarah Kaufman, Beck Hyatt. They have so many, just so many good fighters like from around the world. Should be awesome. Question number five. Uh, besides the Cyborg fight, what main card fights are you looking forward to? Um, I'm going to go with Sarah Kaufman against Leslie Smith. That should have Fight of the Night written all over it. Those girls love to just like throw punches and probably going to either end in a knockout or something crazy is going to happen. Uh, like, they just want to put on a good show for the fans, and you have to respect that. And then, uh, I'm going to go with Beck Hyatt against Jasminka. Um, they've been talking trash back and forth. Um, that really gets people excited about the fight. And, um, I don't know, Beck, she's one of the most marketable athletes, but she's going to have to get a win one of these days, maybe, to keep her popularity growing. Um, and that will be all. See you guys later.